Learning how to relax while facing with tons of work can be challenging. Welcome to my vlog, and my name is Esther. in my kitchen need a lot of repair work so I repainted the whole wall with a lighter cream so that it will look much brighter because I have used the wrong leg to lag the countertop so LG is helping me to remove all the old lag by hand Removing that alone took us almost the whole day. There is a hole after I have removed the washing machine from the kitchen. And because the kitchen cabinet door is really old and it belongs to the 60s, so it's really hard to find back the same type. I was really worried for a few days and one evening, I found somebody wanted to give this cabinet away for free. So I quickly contacted her and asked LG to drove me there immediately. I was really happy after I found out the cabinet fit the hole perfectly. The only issue is that there is a 2 to 3 cm gap between the cupboards. And I'm lucky that LG is so good in his carpenter work. After a few hours of working, he finally fixed the problems. I am really grateful for the person who gave me this free cabinet. If I were to buy this from IKEA, this would have cost me a few hundred crowns. Me and LG work really well together. He knows my limits and he tried to help me on those things that I'm weak at. During these few days, I also learned a lot of tips and tricks from him. I am not the type that is very handy, but you never know, it's always fun to learn something new. I also make some DIY decorative items to style my home. I enjoy experimenting with different materials. I also try to keep the color as neutral as possible. Neutral color is most acceptable by most people, so this will make selling much easier. I think bathing is also really important because this will make people feel comfortable and wanting to live here. I also noticed that adding live plant really lift up the whole room. I have far too many things that I do not need for my apartment, so I decided to sell it at Facebook. It is really easy to sell at Facebook. I think most of my items were gone within 3 days. If you want to sell at Facebook, my tips for you is to make sure that you have a great camera and try to take the picture as close as possible. Make sure that the dimension is mentioned so that people don't have to ask. 
and if any of your items are defect, please mention them clearly. My only issue with selling at Facebook is the amount of time waiting and corresponding. So, if you want to sell at Facebook, make sure you have time for that. It can be really tiring working on the apartment the whole day round. So sometimes we take some hour off to be out of the apartment doing a rant or even going out for some fika. This is a cafe plus secondhand shop not far from our place. The fika is quite cheap and it's kind of cozy here. It has an open fireplace and the whole cafe look like at those we are in a home. This cafe only open a few days during the winter. And beside cafe, there is a, another room where they have um, some kind of adventure for young people. And uh, over here, there is the hallway to the second hand shop. If you are visiting Sweden and need winter clothes, here it is. And over in this room, you will find a lot of items that are some vintage, some not so old. The price are pretty reasonable compared to the second-hand shop in town. Recycling is a trend in Sweden and I think this is a very good way of business so that nothing goes to waste. So if you are visiting Shalafthil, make sure you come to Shalafthil Ham and enjoy a cup of coffee in this wonderful place. The owner of this place is a friendly retired old lady who simply just enjoy meeting people. We came here to donate a big bag of old clothes that can be sell, but at the end we end up having fika. Me and LG, we enjoy supporting the local business. Because of the location of this cafe, it is really hard for the local business to survive and we need local business because that is the chance to create more jobs while enjoying our coffee we saw there's one old retired man came back from his car with a big box of homemade knife. He handmade all this knife by himself. These knives are made from many different materials of different wood. Today, we are looking for some material for styling and repairing at the second hand shop not far from town. As our bad habit, we never start shopping before our stomach is filled with fika. This is a much bigger second hand shop, also operated by the church. These are non profit organization so usually the fika are easily affordable and it's also a very good place for meeting people and we found some friends who came after us and we spoke for almost an hour I prefer a savory fika whereas LG he prefer his chocolate and sweet stuff We didn't find anything we need at the second-hand shop, 
So we went home and do some errands instead. Our fridge is empty, so we went shopping at the supermarket. I made a video for this roasted pan fried char siu. So if you want the recipe, click on to the video description for the link. I find that cooking char siu using this method, the meat is not as dry. We've been so busy renovating our apartment, so I decided to make food portions that are easy to bring along so that we can have our meals over there. Chinese New Year is approaching. I also take some time to prepare a few nian gao so that I could eat it at snacks while working at my apartment. This is an easy nian gao recipe. If you are interested, the video link is in the video description too. If you are like me, who wants to reduce the amount of steaming time for nian gao, do like me. I cook the pastry or rather the batter in a pot until it's cooked. Usually, it takes 3 hours to steam the name gao, but by using this method, it only took me less than 2 hours. This used to be my favorite snacks as I was a kid. My mom used to make this all the time during Chinese New Year. To make the batter, I mix some plain flour, egg and some milk. And then I fry it on butter instead of cooking oil. I cut and layered the remaining nian gao and put them in the freezer. We need a lot of energy while working in the apartment. I hope that this will serve its purpose. I do not have time to cook lunch and dinner, so I make this very big pot of curry chicken and buy tons of bread so that I could dip them in this delicious curry. I did make a live stream cooking this curry chicken at Facebook Live, so if you are interested, go check it out at my video description for video link. On Saturday evening, we decided to stop work early so that we could enjoy a glass of beer at the local pub just two minutes away from our home. We are surprised that there are so many people at the pub. It's so nice to stay near a pub so that we could find our way home without driving. We met a few people that we know, had a great chat, and head home just before 11. We enjoy the evening very much, and now we are ready to head home. It was snowing and really cold when we were on our way home. Luckily, we stay so near, otherwise it could be a problem. I'm glad that we didn't follow our friend back home for after party. Usually they do that in Sweden. 
a cup of Irish coffee or maybe a liquor to end the evening. And also because we have a lot to do tomorrow morning, so we decided to take an early night. I hope you guys have an idea what it is like to live in Sweden, how to relax while working hard. It's so nice to come home to our cats just snuggling on the sofa, enjoying a TV just before bed. We like to get ideas, or rather more ideas, on how to relax over weekend. If you have any, please share them. At the comment, I am very happy to receive comment, and I'll try to do a Q and A on your questions soon. Thanks for watching and subscribing to my channel, and I hope to see you in my next video.